I'm going to show you how to increase your iPad storage without deleting any files or applications. Let's get started. What's going on guys, this is Apple Fox channel here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can actually raise up your storage on your iPad and as I mentioned you won't need to delete any kind of files from your iPad. So this is the cool thing about it. I'm sorry for not uploading for such a long time. I've been on a trip in London and it's great to be back and by the way if you are new to the channel or if you are seeing the Apple Fox channel video for the very first time then don't hesitate with clicking the subscribe button because I post a lot of app related videos, iOS tips and tricks as well as iOS reviews so you won't be disappointed. And now let's just get started with the trick. Now let me explain how this trick basically works because now you're probably thinking that it's not possible to actually raise up the storage or to have more available storage without deleting anything. And it is actually, because technically you are deleting some files, but only those that are not needed for you. I mean, you don't even know that you have it and you definitely don't need it, some cached files. There is no natural way of deleting them, but you have to use this trick in order to do it. This trick will probably not work on a brand new iPad. I mean, you of course will not raise the storage above the 16 gigabytes if you have 16 gigabytes iPad. I mean, it won't be bigger than the storage you have available, than the storage that you have bought. I mean, it's impossible. But if you have, for example, 16 gigabytes iPad, as I do, and I have about 1.36 gigabytes available, then it's gonna work. And also, if you have been using the iPad for quite some time, then it's gonna work. If not, then it will not because there are no cached files. So there will be nothing to delete. And this is the point of this trick. And the very first thing that you need to do is to open up the iTunes store. As you can see, I have it right here in the dock. On the right side where are the most used apps, but anyways, put it up and try to search for something really big. I have this Cleopatra right here, and as you can see, the film right here is going to be really big. It is about 10 gigabytes. So you have to find some kind of file that is so big. I mean, you can also use this one as well because it doesn't really matter. You're not going to rent this film. You're not going to purchase it. We're going to be only using it to delete the files that we don't need and actually to get more available storage. So you basically have to open it up and click on the download button or the purchase button. But uh, before I actually go inside and do it, I have to go to the settings in order to take a look how much storage I have now in order to compare the results later. So let's clear or let's hop inside the settings right here. Uh, 1.34 gigabytes is the available and the capacity is 16 gigabytes because this is a 16 gigabytes iPad as I already mentioned but anyways it is the iOS 11 so the capacity will be always stated like 16 gigabytes so coming back again to the iTunes store you can see that we have this film right here and if I click on this buy icon as you can see, it's going to make it like, you know, the spinning circle is over there. The iTunes store or the operating system is going to find out that there isn't enough storage for this. So that way, the iPad will try to delete everything that is unneeded. And by this, we mean the cached files that we don't need. And that way, the storage will go up. Okay, and as you can see, we got a pop-up saying we cannot download this file because there is not enough storage. And of course, it is okay. So let's click on the settings and wait for it to load up. And now as you can see, the available is at 1.46 gigabytes. I mean, it is not too much, but there is 100 megabytes that you can use now and you couldn't before. And what's cool about this is that you can repeat it one more time. So yeah, we can try to do it one more time. So let's click on buy and we're waiting for the iPad to do its magic. And you know what, it should be okay, and now we should have even more storage available. I mean, I just hope so. Honestly, I expected more to be cleared up, but that is because I'm not using the iPad every single day. It's not like on a daily basis. And that is the reason why there are, there are not many cached files that could be deleted with this. So let's check it out. We got the pop-up, so about section, and as you can see, it's 1.46. It's so nothing has changed, but we gained actually a little bit of the storage. Of course, it is not too much, but we gained something, so it is definitely good. I remember performing this trick in the past, and back then it was actually a lot more storage that I gained. I mean, it was more than a gigabyte. I mean, right now it is not that much, but what can you expect when you did not delete anything? Of course, it would be great if we would have, like, more storage available after this, but at least, you know, like, at least there's something. But still, we didn't delete anything, and this is the coolest part about it. And of course, if you really want to gain some storage, just hold down on one of these applications and delete those that you don't really need. 
And that, my friends, is the end of today's video, guys. I just really hope that I could help you with this, and I just hope that you actually cleared some stories that you didn't need. Please let me know down below in the comments if you actually managed to do something, if you managed to get some additional stories that you didn't have before, or if this worked for you at first place. So leave comments down below if you want to. Of course, don't forget to click the like button as well as the subscribe button if you are new to the channel, because, as I already mentioned, I post a lot of app-related videos. So have a nice day and see you in the next one. Peace.